Hello. Today we are going to read a book called The Big Orange Splot. And what your job is going to be while we are reading this book is to think, what is this book mostly about? We're looking for the main idea. What's it about? Is it about a big splot being on the house? Or is it about something a little different? So your job is going to think about what this big orange splot book is actually about. The Big Orange Splot by Daniel Manis Pinkwater. I really like this book. I hope you enjoy this book too. Mr. Plumbean lived on a street where all the houses were the same. He liked it that way. So did everybody else on Mr. Plumbean Street. This is a neat street, they would say. Then, one day, a seagull flew over Mr. Plumbean's house. He was carrying a can of bright orange paint. Nobody knows why. And he dropped the can, no one knows why, right over Mr. Plumbean's house. Uh-oh. It made a big orange splot right on top of Mr. Plumbean's house. Ooh, too bad, everybody said. Mr. Plum Plumbean will have to paint his house again. I suppose I will, said Mr. Plumbean. But he didn't paint his house right away. He looked at the big orange splot for a long time. Then he went about his business. The neighbors got tired of seeing that big orange splot. Someone said, Mr. Plumbean, we wish you'd get around to painting your house. Okay, said Mr. Plumbean. Think he's gonna paint his house? He got some blue paint and some white paint. And that night he got busy. He painted at night because it was cooler. When the paint was gone, the roof was blue, the walls were white, and the big orange splot was still there. Then he got more paint. Red paint, yellow paint, green paint, and purple paint. Oh my goodness. In the morning, the other people on the street came out of their houses. Their houses were all the same. But Mr. Plumbean's house was like a rainbow. It was like a jungle. It was like an explosion. Does his house look the same as the other houses anymore? Wow, that's an interesting house. There was the big orange splot. And there were little orange splots. There were stripes. There were pictures of elephants and lions and pretty girls and steam shovels. The people said, Mr. Plumbean has popped his cork, flipped his wig, blown his stack, and dropped his stopper. They went away muttering. That day, Mr. Plumbean bought carpenter's tools. That night, he built a tower on top of his roof, and he painted a clock on the tower. Oh my goodness, look at this house. Does this house look like the other houses anymore? Oh, that's very interesting. The next peep day, the people said, Mr. Plumbean has gushed his mush, lost his marbles, and slipped his hauser. They decided they would pretend not to notice. That very night, Mr. Plumbean got a truck full of green things. He planted palm trees, thorn bushes, onions, and frangy pangy. In the morning, he bought a hammock and an alligator. Look at his house. When the other people came out of their houses, they saw Mr. Plumbean swinging in a hammock between two palm trees. They saw an alligator lying in the grass. Mr. Plumbean was drinking lemonade. How do you think Mr. Plumbing is feeling right now? Do you think he likes his house? Do you think he's happy? Hmm. What could possibly happen next? Mr. Plumbing has gone too far. This used to be a neat street. Mr. Plumbing, what have you done to your house? The people shouted. My house is me and I am it. 
My house is where I like to be, and it looks like all my dreams, Mr. Plumbean said. The people went away. They asked the man who lived next door to Mr. Plumbean to go and have talk with him. Tell him that we all liked it here before he changed his house. Tell him that his house has to be the same as ours so we can have a neat street. The man went to see Mr. Plumbean that evening. They sat under the palm trees, drinking lemonade and talking all night long. You think he's going to convince him to change his house? Early the next morning, the neighbor went out to get lumber and rope and nails and paint. When the people came out of their houses, they saw a red and yellow ship next door to the house of Mr. Plumbean. Did he convince Mr. Plumbean to put his house back? Does his house look the same as Mr. Plumbean's? Mr. Plumbean said it was his dreams. What have you done to your house? They shouted at the man. My house is me and I am it. My house is where I like to be and it looks like all my dreams, said the man who had always loved ships. He is just like Mr. Plumbean, the people said. He's got bees in his bonnet, bats in his belfry, and knots in his noodle. Then one by one, they went to see Mr. Plumbean late at night. They would sit under the palm trees and drink lemonade and talk about their dreams. And whenever anybody visited Mr. Plumbean's house the very next day, that person would set about changing his own house to fit his dreams or her dreams. Oh, my what is this person's dreams? What does that look like? Oh, wow, look at that house. They're all very different, aren't they? Ooh. This neighborhood's gonna look very, very different. Whenever a stranger came to the street of Mr. Plumbean and his neighbors, the stranger would say, this is not a neat street. Then all the people would say, our street is us and we are it. Our street is where we like to be and it looks like all our dreams. The end. So is this story mostly about a big orange splot or was it about something bigger? Was it about something different? What do you think? I want you to think about what the most important part of the story was the most important part of the story that he had a splot on his house. What do you think the most important part was? Here's what your job is going to be. Your job is going to be to think about what is your dream and you are going to make your own house. This is what I look made my house look like if I were to live on Mr. Plumbean Street. I added daffodils because I love daffodils. And I added purple wisteria flowers all over my house. And you can't see it really well. But I made my house cerulean blue because that's my favorite color. And I had an apple tree because I love apples so, so much. So this is my most important house. So your job is to get a piece of paper. Your house does not have to look like this. But you're going to use a whole piece of paper and make what your house would look like if your house is your dreams. Are you ready to do that? I can't wait to see your houses. Use the whole paper. Make it as detailed as you can. I can't wait to see your houses. Bye.